What's, What's up, up you guys? guys? Welcome to the Brown wow. Brigade TV. TV. I'm Danielle. And I am Josh. And this is our first video. And it's going to be a Q&A video. But before we get into this video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share. All right, y'all. We got some questions in the hat that people want us to answer. So we got to answer y'all questions and we put all the questions in this hat and so, we gonna pull one by one right and we told we told our people to ask us anything any question that we you don't care like, we don't know what's in here all i know is that if i want to answer i feel fifth period well i mean we got to answer just all the questions guys. just playing we got to answer all the questions i guess i'll go first Give me a drum roll, babe. Uh -oh, oh, I'm not gonna buy the oh. cat. And the first question is Who invented cuss words? Hey, Siri. Mm hmm. Who invented cuss words? Okay, I found this on the web for who invented cuss words. Check it out. Oh. Siri said, and she said, profanity is a socially offensive. Oh, that ain't telling. Next question. <laughs> Next. Go. Next. We don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say who I think invented the cuss words, but hey. I don't know. You invented your own cuss words. Who invented the English language? Think um, about that. Okay, I got a question. What are some misconceptions that you had about each other? Mm. 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 A misconceptions? Mm. 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 Yeah, that's the first. Go ahead. Um, first misconception that I had about Danielle. Um, I really thought she was, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, like, when me and Danielle first started talking, you know, she was old pimp. You know, not pimp, but, you know. Yeah, I'm pimp. Not pimping, but, you know, she was trying to be a player, but baby, I was I've been top off the porch, player. baby. I was a top player. So, <laughs> that was a misconception I had, that she was a little sneaky. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I was. Maybe you, I you wasn't. Oh, you was, all right. Go Who ahead. Knows? Anyhow. Um, uh, that's what you thought. Absolutely. I would say, I uh, I don't know if it was a misconception because I thought that he was a player, hoe. Previously. If you know, you know. Previously. He said previously, but that's what I thought. Like he ain't, he ain't even serious. He ain't even a. It is what it is. Like rendezvous. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Next question <laughs> for you. <laughs> Let's see. How was it becoming a blended family? Mm. That's a good question. That is a good question. Um, <clears throat> I would say that in the beginning, you know, of course, he told me all his kids, <laughs> and <laughs> he had three, and um. I didn't care, and I would say that because I wanted my son to grow up with siblings. So, I was perfectly fine with it. But the one thing is, is that his son, Braylon, he was not messing with me in the beginning. Not having it. Like, I guess he was tired of his daddy, like, swishing. <laughs> he was like, another one? No. But, but, you know, the second time I came around him, he was fine. He loved me. He was like, I let it, you know. I let it go. I let it go. This is exactly what he said. He was like, he gave me a hug. He was like, I let it go. I didn't ask him where he let go. I didn't let him go into detail. I just <laughs> hugged him. And it's been <laughs> on since then. So I love all of my kids. I love all my stepkids. All my bonus kids. Um, I would say <laughs> that is it's it's been uh it's been a challenge. How uh, challenge? In, its, in itself. Um being a blended family 
Um, it is, it, it's, it's exciting because you get to see everybody's personalities from, you know what I'm saying, from diff different perspectives. And we, we know we try to teach our kids to speak their mind. So when you get at least four kids speaking their mind all at one time, you know, it, it gets funny at I times. I love them. It like, gets funny. And they all get along. Right. They all love each other. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Like, yeah. they was blood. Like they were meant to they be was all brothers blood. and like, sisters. So, yeah. That is amazing, y'all. Yeah, it's amazing. It's wonderful. It when you do it the right way. Right. It's good. Your turn, baby. Okay. Mm. If you could trade lives with anyone, who would it be? <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy. Uh, who would it be if I could trade lives with anyone? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Um... Hmm. Come on, who, who would you trade lives with? Who would I trade lives with? I don't know if I, I mean, I like my life. I love, yeah. And then it's like when you trade lives with somebody, you don't know what the fuck they've been through. Mm -mm. You don't even know if you can handle what they've been through. I don't know. That, that movie that just came out behind her ass. So, trade no lies, um, yeah. trade lies, nah, look, I I'm, gonna, no I'm gonna appreciate what, appreciate what I got. Big G.O.D. gave me. Hallelujah. So, yeah. Next no question <clears throat> is, what does it feel like, what does it feel being a stay-at-home mom with twins? How it feel staying at home with one kid? <laughs> Answer that, baby. Times two, honey. <laughs> Hey, listen. But you're strong, though, I am. Listen. You're very strong. You know, God give his 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 battles to who he feel like handle them. So you know, he he picked the right one when he came to me. I'll just play. But like, I don't know. Like they keep me going all day long. Like they they get on my nerves. Don't 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 get it twisted. But they're my babies. I they're my babies, y'all. Like they funny. They they completely different. But the same in so many ways, you know. So, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, I'm going to get out of the house. But with all this going on in the world, it's a little cold. It's warming up, though, so we'll get out more. But it's all good, y'all. It's all good. Mm -hmm. It's all good, y'all. Babies. Let's shake these questions up, cuz. Boy. <laughs> he just bounced on them. They're not even shaking. <laughs> Okay. What would you do with the first hundred dollars from your stimulus? For the stimmy. What would I do with the first hundred dollars of my stimmy check? Um. I'll tell you what. Look, we ain't gonna say that. But no, nah, you know what I do? I what you, my do? Per what you about to say? You know, I go on. Should I probably go on to the Blaze or something? You know. Blaze? Yeah, you know. To the Booty Club? Yeah, it's free money. I ain't have to work for it. I guess I ain't got enough ass around here. Oh, sorry. My Amazon card waiting and ready. For what? My hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon nah, card waiting. I was nah, just I wanna go to, <laughs> nah, I wouldn't go. To, I probably um. Uh, no. Who know. knows? Like we spent a hundred dollars on food. Man, hundred dollars ain't kids. none with these kids. I can go to Applebee's on a two for twenty and still spend a hundred. Over a hundred dollars. So I mean, we could go to Chick Fil A. Over half a hundred dollars, so it's already gone. A hundred dollars ain't nothing around here, man. Mm -mm. What's one thing you haven't told each other yet about yourself? Um, babe, I'm gonna go on to you. 
I've been holding this in for a long time. Where's my microphone? I ain't, I, I hate that it had to come to this on the YouTube for me to, you know what I'm saying? For you, for me to tell you what I'm like, to tell extra. you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like he knows everything about me, so that's a hard question, y'all. Cause I just, I really don't know what I haven't told him yet about me, because he knows everything. I believe he knows my identity. So I mean. I ain't told you my social security number yet. I do know your social security number. Damn. <laughs> Bait, rotten number, all that. I got a copy of his birth certificate number drop. What? <laughs> <Just that. laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay. The next question. What's your favorite memory of you, of your dating stage? Oh, uh, the favorite memory me look hey, so you know, I used to have this black charger, right? You know what I'm saying? And boy, I threw the motor going up and down that road. Listen, boy, every week. Bro, listen, I ain't never seen nothing like it before <laughs> in my life. Nah, that was the most First, messed up memory. It, it was. <laughs> my car messed up. Hey, oh, <laughs> no, that was the most messed up. Listen, I ain't never seen, like, okay, you know, I ain't never dated really no dude out of town like that, like, a far stretch, you know what I mean? This nigga was hopping on the road every weekend. He'll call, he'll get off of work and call straight to Motri. <laughs> Leave Motri go straight to work. It's crazy. That's what they could. That's what I love do for you. My my favorite memory is uh probably our first getaway. That was yeah, that very was special dope. to me. That was dope. March the twenty fourth, um, two thousand and eighteen. We took a nice little getaway to Florida. We went to a concert. We went to the beach. We had seafood. It was nice. It was real dope. <laughs> I I, I, I think. Pillow on the beach. I think I think that, that that was the weekend that we really made it official. Like it was, it was the weekend that we made it official. Like we're gonna be together and this is what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna take what comes with you, you're gonna take what comes with me. And plus, you know, I was bald head. Like niggas weren't really fucking with me when I was bald head. Like he didn't care. Yeah, I used to slap you on the back of your head. Remember that? With chicken egg. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Is it my goal? Alright, y'all. Oh, I can't answer this one. Okay. I'm going to pick another one. This That one's for him. I'll get this one. Oh, God. It's like, you want to fold them up like we in the game. If you could bring back one show as a kid that you watch, what would it be? This one show I used to love for real, for real. That, that's off the air. Andy Griffin. I'm appalled. <laughs> you can't even whistle. How many times you, you, time you watched the show? <laughs> yeah, hey, well, Andy Griffin came out. We had no cable. And we had nothing else to watch. We had Andy Griffin in the, in the news, bro. And Montel. That's real, but Jerry Spring came on at late night. And I say that because me and my mom used to watch Andy Griffith. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's sentimental <laughs> to you. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Look. No, we already did this one. The memory of data phase. We did that one. <laughs> We did this one too. The best part about being a father? No. Oh. I just said open it. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, okay. 
<clears throat> so, yes, I did do this when I read it. This is a new video. Oh, my bad, y'all. Look, what's the best part <laughs> about being a father? Um, The best part about being a father is the way that my kids admire me. Um, You know, when I walk through the door, they, they light up. You know what I'm saying? That's the best part, like, for me, just knowing that. I'm doing something right, you know what I'm saying? If every time they, my every time I'm in their presence, they light up. That means that I'm doing something right. And all his kids in, are him. in love with him, like all of love them. Love your kids, fellas. Make sure you be love there. Your kids. Right. That's the most important is to be there. All his kids love him, and that's what I love about that too. Last question. Oh man, and it's for me. Yeah. What's the hardest part about being a father? Well, okay, the hardest part about being a father is that, um, of course, I do have five kids on my own now and six and all. But the hardest part about being a father is not being able to be at every place at one time. My kids got a lot of stuff going on. So it's like, you know, one weekend, you know, I got to be at a basketball game. I can't make a football game. Oh. Or this weekend, I got to be at a football game and I can't make ballerina gymnastics, yeah. or gymnastics or swimming class or soccer or whatever. So it's just like, you know, that's the hardest part about um, being a father, just not being able to be Superman and your, you know, for real, because you know, mentally, I think I am, but in reality, I'm not. So, but you do a great job. I appreciate you, man. Wonderful job. All right, guys, that's it. Oh that's my god, it. this is our first QA. If you have any more questions for us, you want to get to know us a little bit more, we'll have a part two. And we definitely appreciate you all for tuning in. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, and share this share. video. Stay tuned for our beautiful kids. They're on the way, y'all. Love you guys. Sleep. Good night.